other one. The other one was chasing it. What's going on guys? How's everybody doing today? Uh, we're about to head out. We're gonna go do some bank fishing, but first I gotta get the Gotta get the rods. Gotta get the rods loaded up. I'm gonna get a few things tied on. I think I'm gonna go with a swim jig, chatterbait, maybe a crankbait, and then maybe like a Texas rig. So we'll uh, we get gotta get the backpack loaded, get everything out from the boat to the backpack, and then we're gonna hit the water. All right, let's see here, guys. What should we bring? Ooh, did an unboxing of that. Let's see. Put you down. Let me get it situated. All right, so going through the crankbait box, decided I'm gonna bring the Gillikin. This is the silent model. Bring the six cents Gillikin. That thing caught me a fish yesterday. I think it'll kill it in these ponds. All right, guys, the next thing we found, six cents hybrid jig. We're definitely gonna tie this on. I actually have this one tied on right now, but I'm gonna take that off, put that one on. A Little bit better for ponds, I feel like. So here's what we got tied on. Got the Gillikin, got the Six Cents Hybrid Jig with the Divine Swim Bait on the back, and then I got a Texas Rig with just a little beaver bait tied on. That's probably going to get changed up depending on water clarity where we go. So let's get the car loaded up and then let's just hit the water. Man, this water is ultra clear. This little silent Gillikin could be good. Caught somebody's freaking caught somebody's line. Jeez. Let's go with that swim jig. Should be a good amount of grass in here, so should be pretty good. Right off the rocks. There he is, that's a football. be on these rocks.
there he is again. Another one. Another one was chasing it. He was barely hooked. Thanks. <laughs> oh, that's another good one. Back to back cast. They're all on these rocks. Let's get them back. Let's get another one. Can we go three casts in a row? I'm just speed cranking it over these. For nothing. Hopefully we don't fall in. Oh, that was that was not fun. Alright, well since we had to get in the water, that pretty much wrapped it up for today. Um, the only thing I could get on was that, oh my gosh, hang on, I got, this is a disaster, hang on. Anyway, as I was saying, yeah, so stone that crankbait around some, around some rocks and stuff, and then ba-bang, got hit, and then next cast, bang-bang, got hit. First one was probably like a three pounder, he was fat. And then the second one was probably close to two and a half. And then when I caught it, another one was chasing it, trying to take it out of its mouth. So that spot was loaded. And then I got stuck and then I don't I, I should have retied another crankbait on and threw a little bit more before I got in and tried to get it out. Which I didn't even get it out. I lost my bait. So I lost my favorite six cents flat sided crankbait. But yeah, the only thing that got it done was the cranking, but Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button for me. Hit the like. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. We'll catch you all next time. Y'all go catch a big one.
how you get your crankbait unstuck when it's stuck in the rocks. <laughs>